Hello everybody, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about AWS free tier account. Now, uh, this is really helpful to you because uh, with the free tier account, you can go ahead and uh, do uh, various uh, practicals, right? You can go ahead and play with different AWS services and you do not have to pay any money for the same. Okay, so I'll explain you uh, some of the details related to AWS free tier account because uh, uh, I have seen that uh, most of the new guys when they are when you are trying to create an account here you are worried that you will be charged heavily uh, with this particular account now my intention here is to is to clear the doubts and to explain you how to use this account and not get charged at the same time right so you can see the URL here, aws.amazon.com slash free, which takes you to the free tier account or, or basically to the details. Let us go and understand this. So whenever you go ahead and create a new account with AWS, you get free tier benefits for 12 months. Okay. Now we need to understand that what all do you get as part of this free tier. So this is the new, uh, new page of a um, uh, free tier uh, they, they recently updated it now please see here uh, in the detail section you have some of the things as featured let's go and click on all so that we get to see all the different services and the amount uh, of usage which you get uh, for those services free of cost okay now you see as you can see you get 750 hours of ec2 usage but we need to go and look at the details okay and this is really important because you cannot just go ahead and launch any ec2 instance of say m4 large instance or m4x large instance and keep running it for 750 hours you get 750 hours per month of linux rhel or uh, SUS linux which would be of t2 micro instance okay now if you run any other instance type other than t2 micro you are charged for it or 750 hours Per month of windows t2 micro instance usage so you need to uh, you know you need to really understand that uh, uh, these details okay now uh, a few few quick things you can go ahead and run multiple t2 micro instances at the same time right just that over over the month in in a particular month the usage should not go above 750 hours now along with ec2 you need to attach ebs so let's see for ebs right um, here it is so you get 30 gb of ebs free we can go ahead and look at the details 30 gb of amazon ebs any combination of general purpose ssd or magnetic right and 1 gb of snapshot storage so when you take snapshot of an ebs volume it gets saved on s3 you you have to pay for that as well right so uh, uh, this tells you that you can create snapshot of up to one GB, which will be free. Anything more than that, you need to pay for it. Okay. And in the same way, uh, the EBS, EBS usage can be that of 30 GB. Now, let's say if you are running a Windows EC2 instance, you need 30 GB for sure, right? Right. That means you can be. That means you can run maximum one instance all the time. If you are running Linux, uh, it uh, you you can manage with like 10 GB. EBS volume and hence you can go up to three instances in parallel okay uh, so uh, what I would request is that before uh, going ahead and using this thing uh, the the like you have the list for all the different services available now EFS has also been included right I'm uh, there's a separate tutorial which I have created uh, which explains the difference between S3, EFS and EBS, these three storage uh, options. So you can go ahead and look at it and understand when to use which one. But it is a great thing that you can go ahead and try your hands free of cost with EFS as well now, right? Now, uh, quick, let, uh, quickly, that uh, is, it, is it really good to use free tier account? I would say yes. Uh, you know for somebody who is getting started and in case you do not have an option to access AWS account from your or from your organization side I think this is really good stuff you just need your credit card to be put here and you are not charged anything if you use within these limits 
understand that there are data transfer charges involved as well so uh, we should be having data transfer charges here as well let me just see if we get it here we've got elastic transcoder SES. great you can even try your hands with lambda and uh, uh, things like uh, api gateway and everything um oh uh, i do not see data transfer charges so okay you get 50 gb of cloud front that is great and other than that you get 15 gb of bandwidth out aggregated all aws services so understand that when you are using ec2 instance from ec2 also data out is happening while you are while you are using it right now depending if you are trying to experiment by hosting a website there and you access it from outside data transfer is uh, data out is happening so maximum 15 gp per month you get free right you can always go ahead and look at your bill uh, within your account you can go ahead and look at your bill and see that how much data transfer out has already happened and you know accordingly you can control things okay so i think um, um this is great uh, so let us quickly go ahead and so uh, just go ahead and you know read in detail guys this is really important uh, uh, quickly uh, to understand uh, it, it it's not that aws charges you uh, unnecessarily but in case you are not careful and you go ahead and use things which are above free tier account then you are charged for that so please read these details and you would not be paying anything okay now next thing so free tier account does the necessary things for you to go ahead and try your hands on but you also need documentation to read and uh, you know to, to dive deeper so you got complete documentation free of cost right aws.amazon.com slash documentation you write this url you get documentation for all the services here for example to get started if we click on amazon ec2 you can go ahead and look at the ec2 now you have all the cli you got api reference or if you are just gonna you know uh, do via management console you have everything for linux and windows instances in this way for every service for each and everything there's a complete documentation available and hence you don't have to actually spend money on any books or or, or on any course right <coughs> it's important it's important that you uh, you open the management console go and try things and then for any attribute when you are not understanding that what does it mean you can come and refer the documentation here and it is quite uh, you know um, quite easy to understand anytime you do not understand anything uh, i'm available here you can go ahead and ask me the same um, when when you go ahead and create an aws account it asks you for a for a email and password go ahead and give your email address and password and after that so put your email and say i'm not, i'm a new user give your password etc say create account after that it takes you through you know through set of steps where you just have to give your address name etc phone number where you will be verified via sms or phone call and after that you have to give a credit card number as well so don't worry it charges you one or two rupees at that time but after successful verification that money will be reverted back so don't worry about it so go ahead and have your account created if you are based out of india you can go ahead and choose aispl basically uh, when you choose your uh, country based on that the entity gets selected in case of india it will be aispl for other countries in the world it will be aws and uh, you can go ahead and just choose personal account don't choose company account other than that i think it's quite simple once your uh, uh, you know account verification is done you will be able to your account would be active and you can go ahead and start uh, uh, creating uh, you know different uh, different services and different offerings you can go ahead and do that all right um, uh, I also have the Scora page of mine. You can go ahead and ask me any question if you want, uh, as you can see here. Uh, in this tutorial, I just wanted to explain this thing because uh, people get a lot of uh, uh, people get worried 
and they do not create free tier accounts so guys understand uh, it is free but it is not totally free right so understand that as part of free tier account how much do you get on every service and while you are using a particular service just take care of that particular thing so this uh, this page actually gives you everything in, in in very much detail in case after reading this you do not understand anything please go ahead and write it uh, in the comment section and i will answer answer the same if you like it please go ahead and share and subscribe this thank you bye bye